Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I have a 40 amp solar charge controller from Red Odeo. So let's go ahead and open it up and check it out. Okay, so let's go ahead and open it up. All right. Got a little piece of styrofoam here. And then on the very top we have, oh, this looks like a piece of self-adhesive, which I'm not sure what that's for. Uh, we have a product manual for the 40 amp solar charge and discharge controller with maximum power point tracking. So it has, it's an MPPT solar charge controller. And then we have a quick guide for your installation steps and this includes mounting holes. So that's nice. I mean, so that way you can use this when you're, uh, you're, when you're mounting it on a wall. So that, that's actually really nice to see. And then we have a baggie here with, uh, it looks like some hardware. And then it looks like we have some sort of, uh, it looks like a temperature gauge. So we have, we have that as well. And then for the main event, here we have the actual charge controller. This is nice. I, I like this. The colors, the colors look really nice. It's very easy to read. Uh, the buttons, I, I like how the buttons are nice and big. Uh, there's also, looks like there's uh, four lights right here to kind of let you know, like indicator lights. And then right here is your positive and negative solar panel uh, connections. Right here are your positive and negative battery connections and your positive and negative load connections. Let's see, if you look at the actual connections themselves, uh, they're fairly good sized. It looks like you might be able to handle, I don't know, maybe up to a six gauge wire. We'll go ahead and put a six gauge wire in there and see if they fit. Also here is the, uh, the connection for the temperature sensor and the connection for an RS-485 connection. This side is nothing, back is nothing, or I guess I should say top, and this side is nothing. The bottom is a very nice uh, heat sink. It's all coated in this white, so the color scheme looks really good. Uh, feels pretty strong. Nothing, I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna be able to bend these in any fashion. And this has like a, I don't know, like a rubber powder coating. So it's not just plastic and it's not metal. It's like some sort of rubberish coating, which is nice. Let's go ahead and uh, plug it into a battery and turn it on and see what the display shows. Okay, before I hook this up, I just wanted to show you that I have a piece of six gauge wire right here. And I was able to uh, put it in the MPPT charge controller just fine. And uh, six gauge wire can handle 40 amps with no problem whatsoever. So it can definitely handle a nice thick gauge wire. Okay, I went ahead and wired up the negative connection and um, I used one wire with a ferrule connection. That way I could show you that if you want to use ferrule, uh, a ferrule crimp or without a ferrule crimp, uh, either way will work just fine with this uh, MPPT solar charge controller from Red Odeo. They both fit in there just fine. But let's go ahead and put on our positive, connect it up, and the solar charge controller lights up, as you can see. Let's go ahead and tighten this down. All right, and now it looks like it's showing our battery voltage at uh, right around between 13.1 and 13.2 and it shows a green light showing that our battery is connected. All right, and let's go ahead and uh, test the voltage of our battery to see how accurate this screen is. And it's flickering between 13.1 and 13.2. So let's go ahead and take the voltage of the battery. And the voltage is 13.15. So that is spot on. Since it's flickering between 13.1 and 13.2, I would say that is 13.15. That is perfect. Okay, I found out what this uh, sticker is. Uh, Red Odeo actually calls it a magic sticker, and it is supposed to be used with the temperature sensor. Now, this temperature sensor is only used for your lead acid battery chemistries. So we're not gonna be using it all uh, with this lithium iron phosphate chemistry. What it does is it compensates 
the charging depending on whether if it's really cold outside it will boost the charge a little bit and if it's really hot it will reduce the charge yes the manual does say that all this will do is it will compensate for the temperature and adjust itself accordingly okay the manual also goes through uh, how to mount the the solar charge controller uh, it goes through the wiring steps which are very nicely displayed and then it goes through the operation of everything uh, the operation uh, it is very straightforward which is very nice it shows uh, images of the solar panel the battery and the load depending on what is on and what is off and so let's go through those real quick okay and when I first turned it on it does show the voltage of the battery so let's go ahead and just hit the down arrow and now it's showing uh, the uh, the voltage input of the solar panel which is zero right now because we have nothing we have nothing in the solar panel uh, ports This shows the uh, the watt hours, the total watt hours of your of what it's received. This shows the current amperage going into the battery. Ooh, 15. I'm not really sure what that is. We'll have to find out. E00, I'm sure that is an air code. That means that there's zero airs right now. Uh, this shows the current temperature in Celsius, so it's 22 degrees Celsius inside the unit. Uh, this shows the watt hours that you've gotten from the solar panels. This shows the amperage from the solar panel. This shows the, uh, the percentage of what it thinks the battery is at. I'm guessing uh, it's going by voltage. So with a lithium iron phosphate battery, you would not really want to go by this. And then we're back to the battery voltage. If you hit this symbol right here, you do it does turn the light on and off. And this symbol turns the load on and off. Okay, so the next thing I've done is I went ahead and I, uh, I wired in uh, some wires for the solar. And this is my solar panel right here. This is mimicking a uh, 250 watt solar panel. And what I have it set for is I have it set for 30 volts at uh, around eight amps. So that'll give you uh, right around 240 watts of power. So we're gonna go ahead and flick it on and see what it does. You'll see that over here, uh, the numbers will start changing as they go up because the maximum power point of this charge controller is trying to figure out the, the best voltage and amperage. So let's go ahead and click it on. And we clicked it on, it's set for 30 volts. The solar panel light turns on and we start getting charge from our solar panel and you can see that the amperage is starting to go up the voltage is starting to kind of fluctuate because it's trying to figure out what what the best charge is okay and hopefully it should even out here in a second okay well i think that's where it's going to even out at we're we're at 29.8 29.7 volts at around six or around at around 7.6 amps so let's go ahead and see what our display shows. It shows that our battery is at 13.4 to 13.5. Uh, the voltage from the solar panel is 29.8, which is exactly right. And I believe it shows the amperage going into the battery is 16.2. Uh, so let's go ahead and check that. All right, and it shows our amperage. Yeah, so it shows our amperage at 16 right here, 16.4, and, and our clamp meter shows 16.3. So we are, this thing is spot on when it comes to the accuracy of the numbers. All right, and I was reading through this manual a little bit more, and I realized that when you go and switch over to where it says 15, that is the code for the load. And that mean, 15 means that it's set for manual, so that's what this button does, is it turns it off and on. And then you can long press the, uh, the light button to go into the settings. And you can also long press it in any other screen to get into other things. You know what, but I don't, I didn't get this. I, you know, I wouldn't buy this Red Odeo uh, 40 amp MPPT solar charge controller to do like a bunch of long presses. You know why? Because it comes with its own Bluetooth app. So let's, let's go ahead and open up the app right now. Okay, let's go ahead and put the app on screen. 
Okay, this is what the app looks like when you first turn it on. And you can see that even though I have uh, power from my solar panel right here, my 240 watt solar panel, going into my MPPT charge controller that's charging my battery, it's not showing anything on this uh, monitor because you have to connect it. You have to press the little Bluetooth icon and hit allow. And then we are gonna find the BT-ROCC2440 and hit connect. All right, and there it is. We are now connected via Bluetooth to this solar charge controller. That is super cool. And let's look at, let's look at some, of the, uh, some of the monitoring options that we have. So we can see that our, our voltage input is 29.8 volt, volts. Uh, the status is MPPT. Uh, the battery bank is getting uh, you know, 15 to 16 amps of current at 13.5 volts. So it's giving us a power of uh, over 200 watts going into this battery from this charge controller. Uh, if we were to have our DC load on, which we can turn on right here, you can see on the app, it automatically switches over and it shows the voltage at 13.5 as well. So let's go ahead and just turn that off. And you probably just turn it off from the app. Let's go ahead and press that. Confirm you want to turn off the load, confirm. And the light turns off on the MPPT charge controller. Shows the controller is normal, the temperature in uh, Celsius and Fahrenheit, which is nice. And then it shows today's data. Uh, if we go down here to historical data, you can see a cumulative historical data of every day which is really nice to see. Uh, and then we can go into our parameter settings. And this is where you would want to change uh, the type of battery that you have. So if you, want, if you wanted to change this from uh, lead acid or flooded or wet to lithium iron phosphate, you would just have to press the, the locked button first and confirm unlocking. And then you can press battery type and you could select your own battery type, gel, uh, sealed lead acid, flooded, uh, user so that way you can select any kind of uh, float charge bulk items that you want or you can just click lithium uh, li for lithium ion which i did and then it shows the the charge the the voltages of everything what it's set to at the bottom we'll go ahead and press unlocked and we want to lock it and it's showing a boost charge of 14.4 uh, a disconnect at 10.8 a discharge reconnect at 12.4. Uh, the light control delay is set for 10 seconds and the light control voltage is five volts. Also, if we wanna change the system voltage, you would just have to unlock it. Uh, hit confirm that you want to unlock it. And then you just press system voltage and you can select it between 12 volt and 24 volt. So that's nice. And we'll go ahead and lock it up again. And let's go back to real time monitoring. And yeah, uh, I mean, the app, there's no reason to do long presses or anything like that on here when you have this Bluetooth app. Uh, this is really nice. I like this. And this thing, uh, you know, all the specifications for this charge controller, I mean, I could just sit there and list them off and bore you to death. Here, I'll just give you a little glimpse of it right here. There's the dimensions, the altitude, the rated load current, the operating temperatures, the MPP tracking efficiency. There is everything that you need to know when it comes to the specifications of this Red Odeo solar charge controller. Okay, so what do I think of the Red Odeo 40 amp MPPT solar charge controller? You know what? I think it's awesome that companies that are mainly known for their batteries are starting to kind of venture out and do other things. And this is a great start. Uh, the design is great. Um, I like the fact that it has this powdered covering, this rubber powdering covering with a nice white heat sink. Um, so the branding is really good. Um, when it comes to the display numbers, they are spot on. When I tested it against my, uh, my multimeter, everything was exactly what it showed. Uh, the connections on the bottom, they can easily support six gauge wire so when you're talking a 40 amp controller uh six gauge wire is probably a good place to go if you're going to be pushing that much because this does support uh 600 watts of solar at 12 volts 
and 1200 watts of solar at 24 volts. Um, it's 99.9% .9 efficient. So this thing I would say is a pretty good bang for your buck. I mean, I know I didn't go over everything that this has to offer. So please leave any questions or comments down below in the comment section and I'll be sure to answer them. Thank you so much for watching this video and you all have a great day. Bye bye.